Welcome everybody to another video. We're actually out and about. You can see we're at the beautiful Silverstone circuit today. We're down for the British Touring Car Championships, but we've actually been invited down to the Virtual Reality Racing Club to try some of their simulators, which are in the back of a truck, which I'm very keen to see. But the start of one of those simulators is a brand new computer system by PC Specialist, which is aimed towards sim races. So my plan is, go and have a look at it. I'm gonna try and sneak it out of the truck in the back of my car to take it home to do some proper testing. So let's go and get a coffee and see if we can find this truck. Right, so here we are then, a virtual reality racing club. We're gonna have a talk with Richard, the owner. So follow me inside, we'll go and have a look. Richard, Hi, mate. tell us all about it. Okay. What is it? All right, well, you're in the back of the sim truck. Uh, so we use the sim truck for race driver coaching, uh, training, and we've teamed up with a few of the big race teams. Power Max is one of the teams that we're teamed up with, and um, we allow their drivers to basically come and use the simulators to get practice in. Uh, yeah. Obviously, not so much coaching, because these drivers are at the top end, but. You know, we do grassroots level coaching as well for race drivers. We've got three sims in here, all linked together. Um, you've got two static sims, which are high-end bit of kit. You've got direct drive wheels, hydraulic pedals, um, high-end uh, load cell pedals. Um, as you can see, 49-inch curved displays as well from AOC, fantastic yeah. displays. Um, and we've also got a full motion 5DOF uh, platform here, which we're running a Formula 4 car. This is... Um, Five actuators, sorry, six actuators. Uh, you've got traction loss, surge, and also uh, all four corners as well. Also running OBP hydraulic pedals as well. SimiQ2 Pro Direct Drive, AOC Curve 35 inch display. So really, uh, really high end bits of kit. They're all they're all linked together. Um, Riggs chassis, Riggs SR5 chassis, and uh, the Riggs GTF1 seats as well. So you supply all of the rigs there, your own Yeah, rigs. yeah, yeah. So the chassis are, are, our, are our design and, uh, and, and we produce them. Also the seats as well. So but one of the other good things about the seats is that um, you can bolt them into full GT upright position okay. and you can change it into a LMP slightly laid back or into a full formula right. position as well. So um, a little bit of multi-use there on the yeah. seat, depending on what you know, what you like to drive and how you like to drive. So obviously we're in the back of a truck yeah. right now. So what's... The What's the idea behind this? When did you come up with the idea to oh. put some simulators in a truck? So, um, I mean, VRRC has been around since 2018. Um, and what we wanted to do was do a lot of online sim racing. And we have a, a, a large community where we do a lot of uh, racing on the Seto Corsa. But we also wanted to offer high-end simulation for um, sim racers or race drivers to use that is more accessible. Yeah. Um, so we invested in, obviously, Quite some quite decent kit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I didn't want to be restricted to just one base. Yes. Um, so uh, we started off with a race trailer with a couple of sims in the back, and did some uh, touring car rounds and some uh, 750 motor club rounds, and quickly we've moved it on to having a truck. So a proof of concept. It works for us. Yeah. Lets us turn up in the paddock. Lets us uh, turn up at any any race or yeah. any event. Uh, plug the truck in, lower the back down, and we're away. So, how so, many events do you do you go to? Uh, well, we do most of the uh, British Touring Car nice, rounds, okay. and we also do some of the other levels as well. We're going to be at every TCR UK round next year in the paddock, um, and we're going to be doing a few other different race yeah. series that I can't talk about at the moment. Right, okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's 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 kind of developing as we go along. Yeah. It works really well. Yeah. Um, you know, and we've got living at the front as well, so I can rock up and sleep in the truck. Right. It's, uh, it's really it's quite quite a, a, a good solution yes. so yeah really pleased with how it's going um, but also 
you know, once it's back at our base, it's a sim coaching area as well. Yeah. So um, the other thing as well is we're, we're, we're going to soon have a, uh, a driver coaching for race drivers and sim racers based at Silverstone. So right. really excited about yeah. that. Um, that's in partnership with Motus One, which is one of the big race teams yes. in the UK, run a lot of race cars. So yeah, so very excited about what's coming up. So, so how do you see it moving forward then? Do you think this is going to be the norm for race drivers, simulators, Absolutely. the crossover yeah, yeah, for yeah, training yeah, purposes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's in the in the four years that we've been doing this, we've seen a huge shift in in race teams from yeah, well, that's just gaming. You know, yeah. it's no use to a race driver uh, to uh, drivers that are coming to us regularly yeah. uh, to you know refresh themselves on circuits maybe that have not raced for a while, yeah. or if they're going on an away race into Europe, one that they've, you know not raced before. So it's fantastic for uh, drivers to be able to either refresh themselves or learn new circuits. Yeah. You know, it's never going to replace the real thing. No. But it's a very low yeah. cost alternative. I guess testing, you know, yeah. taking the car testing. Absolutely. It's, it's, yeah. This is a fraction of the. Yeah, the yeah, cost. a fraction of the cost. You know, and we do we do all different types of coaching. We do online coaching, so a race driver can be in their own sim, in their own house, and we have our own private servers where we can have another race driver that joins our right. coach rather that joins them in there, talks to them over a voice channel, right. uh, gives them coaching. Also, we do it in person in the yeah. sims here, but we also are now able to do it on track as well. Right. So the star of today's show here right now is the PC specialist yeah. system. What a beast. So have you been running this for a little while? Yeah, what are your so, thoughts? Yeah. Um, what are my thoughts? Well, uh, when you've got a, a system that is running as much as this is, and as you can see, you know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a small uh, sim. Um, it's got a lot, a lot going on, lots of different bits of software. We've got everything cranked up to the max and we're still hitting 336 right. frames per okay. second. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that's fairly no impressive. Slouch. No yeah, slouch. Yeah, no slouch, no slouch. Well, I'm really keen to, to have a look at that system in further detail later on, but it uh, looks very nice. But well, yeah. thank you, Richard. Appreciate no the talk. At all. Thanks very much. Let's get some racing done. So we're back home safe and sound after an absolutely incredible day at Silverstone. But being a tight northerner, there's no way I was going to come home empty handed. So firstly, we managed somehow to blag this. It's a Porsche 911 Cup car brake disc. Many thanks to Redline Racing for showing us around the garage. Appreciate it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe make it into some kind of lamp stand. I don't know, but that's a little project for the future, but also we managed to come home with a humongous cardboard box and inside it's the beast of the AMD Radian system from PC Specialist. So I'm gonna plug that in on the rig over there and we'll put it through its paces. So we're in the rig and we're gonna do some testing, but firstly I'm gonna give you some specs of the PC Specialist Infinity LC. So firstly it sits on an Asus Tough X570 Plus gaming motherboard. Attached to that is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Got 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance, 3200 MHz RAM, all running on a one terabyte Samsung 980 Pro M.2 drive, but it's got the 16 gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT liquid cooled. Now, PC Specialist informed me that the AMD Radeon 6900 XT liquid cool graphics card represents the forefront of extreme engineering and design, delivering ultra high frame rates and serious 4K gaming. With a premium single radiator fan attached to a sleek shroud, the AMD Radeon 6900 XT liquid cool graphics card enables the best of 4K gaming with ultra high frame rates at max settings with the noise and temperature benefits of liquid cooled designs. Now that's the bit that really interests me, the noise and the temperatures. Some of you may have seen me do some longer sim races and I am absolutely sweating buckets. So I need this room to be as cool as I can get it. Now I was invited down to Silverstone to try out this computer on the simulators, which was great fun, but I need to do some real world testing. I want to know if this computer could replace the one I've got now. So I'm going to be putting the new PC Specialist Radian computer 
up against mine. And mine's no slouch. I've got an i9 10900K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, running on a one terabyte M.2 drive with an RTX 3090. So the tests I'm going to do are relevant to me as a sim racer and as a content creator. So I'm going to run two benchmark tests, one on iRacing and one on ACC, both running triple 1440. They're both going to have exactly the same settings. We're also going to run a test on Adobe Premiere Pro, rendering one video at 4K, see which one does it quickest. And we're also going to run the Heaven benchmark. That's always a good indicator of where your computer sits. So with regards to the iRacing and ACC benchmarks, all the information's on screen, so you can keep an eye on the temperatures of the GPUs, how much of the GPU it's using, and at the end of each one, I'll give you the numbers. So we've talked enough. Am I still going to be Team Green? Or by the end of it, am I going to be Team Red? Now, on iRacing, these are the settings that I used. These were replicated both on the 3090 and on the PC Specialist system. The only difference with this benchmark is SMP is enabled, and that can only be enabled on NVIDIA cards. But I did run a test afterwards without SMP enabled.
Right, so let's have a look at some numbers. So on my system, which is the Intel i9 10900K and the RTX 3090, the maximum frame rate was 110.9, the minimum was 46.9, and the average frames per second was 75 bang on. Without SMP, it was a different story. The maximum frame rate was 101.3, the minimum frame rate was 42.1 and the average frame rate was 65.1. So nearly 10 frame per second drop when we don't use SMP. So onto the PC specialist Infinity LC. That's running the Ryzen 9 5950 and the Radeon RX 6900 liquid cooled. So maximum frame rate was 105.2, minimum frame rate was 48.1, and average frames per second was 72.1. As you can see, only slightly worse than the 3090 with SMP enabled, but it spanks the 3090 when you don't use SMP. So on to ACC now. So we're using the high preset in the graphics setting on both this one and the AMD system. I'll let the benchmarks run through, then we'll pull up the figures at the end.
Okay, so let's have a look at the results for the ACC benchmark. So my system, first of all, so that's the i9 10900K and the RTX 3090. So maximum frames per second was 60.2. Minimum frames per second was 43.7. And the average frames per second was 54.2. Now on to the PC specialist Infinity LC. Maximum frames per second... 69.4 minimum frames per second 48.7 and average frames per second 61.6 my system just got absolutely destroyed so next up it's a test of rendering on adobe premiere pro now this is a 21 gigabyte file i'm rendering this in 4k this is how i would usually render my videos with a target bitrate of 50,000. So this is what I would typically use. So we've got my 3090 on the left-hand side, and we've got the RX 6900 on the right. Let's see who wins. That was a close one. So as you can see, the RX 6900 XT gets it in 47 minutes, 29 seconds, 0.34. But the 3090 is almost four seconds slower with a 47, 33, 2, 1. So to finish off, we're going to go with the good old trusty Heaven benchmark. So on the left is my system with the RTX 3090. And on the right, we've got the PC specialist system with the RX Well, yet again, the PC Specialist system wins with a score of 6177 to my system's 5237. Right now, I'm really sad. Okay, so we've put the new PC Specialist Infinity LC through its paces up against my computer. And as I mentioned at the beginning, my computer ain't no slouch. And I'm going to be honest with you. Before I made this video, I was a little bit worried about the results. I genuinely thought that my computer with the 3090 in would absolutely destroy any computer with a Radeon in. And oh boy, how wrong was I? The Infinity LC from PC Specialist beat my computer in everything that we tested apart from one thing, and that was iRacing when we had SMP enabled. And you just can't enable it on a Radeon card. So we tried iRacing. It beat me on that. If we don't have the SMP on ACC, it beat me on that. The Adobe Premiere Pro render, it beat me on that only by three seconds, four seconds, mind. And the Heaven benchmark, it absolutely destroyed my computer. So I've always been team green, but as long as I remember, I've always had NVIDIA cards. But now I'm not so sure. I always thought that it was a, a clean sweep. I always thought that NVIDIA ruled the roost. But obviously not having tried this computer with this graphic card in genuinely, and I'm not just saying that. So if I didn't have my computer now, I genuinely could be tempted to try one of these if I was on the market for a new computer. My computer has got to do everything. I only have a single PC setup, so it's got to be able to record, stream, play my games, do sim racing. It's got to do everything. This is my workhorse. And having tried this for a few days, it does everything just as good and under benchmark conditions, even better. So I'll leave a link down below to this computer. You can go and have a look at it there. You can have a look at the specs. I want to say thank you to the Virtual Reality Racing Club and PC Specialist for inviting me to do this video. Invite me down to Silverstone where I had an absolute blast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you later.